Loomis, this is absolutely unacceptable. It's really not that bad, Jack. You can't be that strapped for cash that you have to rent the place out. It's not just about the money, it's about keeping the workspace compliant with health and safety regulations. We're over halfway through the season now, and we're more than due for a clean out of the wardrobe. And I assume you'll be cleaning out all of the untouched novels you've had scattered around here for years. Don't you mention those. Bit of a sore spot still, is it? You know very well I've been hard at work on this bloody audio adventure for the patrons. Ah yes, the so-called virtual writing retreat you've been on. How's that going? Atrociously. I thought I'd have about 30,000 words by now. And you know what I have? Likely nothing. Close to a third of that. A third of nothing is still nothing. 10,000 words, I mean. A third of the 30,000 word goal. Why does that shock you? What? You know, if you're going to write something, you have to sit down and actually do it, right? You know, it's probably because you're such a difficult character to write. Excuse me? Do you know how hard it is to turn someone like you into a hero? I swear you become less likable every time I have you on the show. I get the job done. What? You know what? It's totally within your power to make me less of a bastard, but you won't do it because you need me. You're probably right, you know. I can push your buttons in a way that none of your other characters can, which is bizarre considering I was only conceptualized in the fifth book and you had to backtrack and insert me into all of the previous stories. I'm pretty sure a lot of writers do that to keep things consistent and lay down connections with the sequels. Yes, but I'm obviously your favorite because you keep me around. Maybe I keep you around because the listeners seem to like you. Have you considered that? Preposterous. Hmm, maybe. So, the 10,000 words you have written, are they good? Good. Hmm. Are you happy with them? Uh, yeah, I am. I think it's a great foundation for a good story. Well, I think 10,000 or 100,000, as long as you're happy with the words, that's what counts. Wow. What? That's just a very romantic outlook, I think. I'm not sure that means what you think it does. Well, anyway, speaking of romance, someone's just booked a wardrobe for a few nights. Surely nobody is that desperate. Well, she's a writer. She might well be that desperate, then. What's her name? You'll have to wait and see. That's for next week. Oh, you're such a tease. Speaking of teasing, I do have a little teaser for people this week. Applejack's audio adventure is well underway, and though the full story is reserved for patrons and will be released at a later date, I will be releasing a bonus episode this week that will show off the opening chapter, featuring Jack and a shopkeeper and a horse. It will be available in all the usual places. YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and, of course, Patreon. Thank you everyone for your support and for lending me your ears for a few minutes each week. This has been The Writer's Wardrobe.